Police have arrested a man who allegedly left a woman for dead on the side of a roadway in York County last month. She was found on Smizer Road near Indian Rock Dam Road with multiple gunshot wounds and had been run over by a car. As Fox 43 Samantha Galvez reports this evening, police are asking for help in finding another man who they say is involved. Police have arrested and charged this man, 20-year-old Roberto Rodriguez III, with criminal attempted homicide, among others, for the shooting of 27-year-old Meredith Keltner on Smizer Road near Indian Rock Dam Road, June 12. But police say he didn't act alone. Now they are looking for a second suspect, 28-year-old Francisco Torres Rivera. There was a dispute between the three of them. We don't know exactly what that dispute is, uh, but my understanding is, is that these three individuals are known to use drugs. Uh, but I, I can't say for certain that it's drug related. According to court documents, Keltner told police she and Rodriguez stayed in a hotel the night before. The next day, he drove her to a home on the 200 block of East Princess Street in York to pick up Torres Rivera, who was going by the name of Esteban. The two drove her to a remote location and made her get out of the car. There, Keltner was struck by gunshots in the neck, back, buttocks, thigh and foot. Police believe she was then run over and left to die. Within 25 minutes, two people found her and got help, which is the only reason police say she's still alive. Keltner told investigators she thinks it was Torres Rivera who shot her, but she blacked out and couldn't be certain. We're still working through the details of exactly who fired the shots and who operated the car, but they both had uh, uh, were involved in one or the other assaults. Police say the three know each other and have either stayed or lived at a home on the 200 block of East Princess Street. Witnesses told police they saw all three of them leaving the home and noticed the men come back alone. The witness also reported finding the burned remains of a cell phone in their backyard. We're still working on the why. Uh, we know the how. We know the where. We're still working on the why. Now police have an arrest warrant out for Torres Rivera and are working with the United States Marshal Service to find him. The justice in this is for is for Meredith Kelt. Uh, this is a traumatic event. No matter what she may, what this, this dispute was over, um, no person deserves to be shot, ran over by a car, and left for dead along the road. Now, the handgun in this case has yet to be found. Again, if you have any information about Rivera's whereabouts, contact police. He is considered armed and dangerous. In North Cadores Township, York County, Samantha Galvez, Fox 43 News.